So here, you can see here, I have from left to right on the top there, I have my roasted peppers, which I love. I have uh, pickled herring, I have some, uh, some crab meat chunks. I have uh, on the top there, that pink stuff, that is my cultured vegetables that I actually, I follow Don, Donna Schwesnick, I can never say her last name, but go to culturedfood.com or culturedlife. You know what, I'll put, I'll put the link in, this, in the text of this, of this newsletter. Anyway, she is awesome. She's got all the videos, how to do it, all that. I will put the link to her so you can culture your own vegetables. You'll never have to take another probiotic again. So, and then of course, olives, which are also a probiotic, a fermented food. Then that, uh, that yellowish thing, that's my colostrum, my morning colostrum, which really is, of course, as you should know, the most potent, potent probiotic, complete food and immune booster um, that nature offers. Then to the right of that is my green soda where I put all my liquid minerals, my fulvic minerals, my, uh, as well as chlorophyll, my, um, my iodine to protect, me, protect my thyroid from the uh, radioactivity in our environment, which they stopped talking about, but it's there. And, uh, and of course, turmeric, ginger, some lemon, and my kombucha. To the right of that, that green, that is my multivitamin. I do my own juices, green juices, a lot of different vegetables, you know, cucumber, uh, celery, carrot, a little apple in there, green apple for a kick, and lemon for a kick. And uh, that's my multivitamin. And then down from there, I have my raspberries and blueberries in a kefir. Uh, kefir, another fermented food, which I'll be putting a little bit of that grain-free organic uh, granola in. So that'll be my my dish, my completed dish there. Now we move to the main dish. <laughs> I love this. I love the way I eat. I really do. It's flavorful. It's satiating. It's colorful. I mean, if you eat with your eyes like I do, I eat everything with my eyes. Um, it just doesn't get better. And it's fun to make. So anyway, it's in a lettuce wrap, of course. No, no processed flowers like that. And there's all kinds of stuff. I have asparagus. I have really good organic, soy-free, uh, grain-free egg, um, egg from a farm that we have here in Burnham. You got to look. You got to look around for the right foods, people. It's not always easy because it's not the common, right? It's not the common narrative. It's not the common food system. Um, you know, that, it, that's a long subject, <laughs> a long talk, which we'll be having. Um, but anyway, so there's tomato, asparagus, onion, garlic. Um, there's some ghee in there and, of course, wrapped in the lettuce and when you are healthy, when your gut is clear, and it will take, you know, starting anywhere, with re regular people, at least three months. But, you know, because we follow our patients for the first three months, follow dairy, grain, sugar-free diet. It will always be grain-free, and it will always be sugar-free, except for natural sugars found in, in nature, okay? But, um, but anyway... Uh, the the um, the crackers are those are simple meals they are organic and um, and then I have a little bit of cheese cheese is a fermented food I my gut I can actually digest if I ate the paint off of a 1957 Corvair rust and all my gut would digest it because I one I haven't had an antibiotic since 1977 and um, and two I've always eaten right with diversity like this. And so my gut, you know, my microbiome is, is just exploding. It's like fireworks on the 4th of July when I introduce any food in there. It just, it just lights up and, and takes it in. So anyway, folks, that is the first of my two meals. And tonight I will share with you my evening meal. But, um, but nobody can say that eating organic is boring because look at that. All right. All right. <laughs> Have a good day. I'll be back at you soon. Bye-bye.